Hello! Video 17. Cutting and binning data. This is not a very obvious sounding thing, but I'll explain what it is in a minute. First, we load in pandas, we load in the data set, we load in info, we describe it, we check the head, and then we look at the size. Binning, for example, is um, taking age ranges, which let's say you've got a data frame with age ranges 18 to 100 very old population but you want to group them into maybe five or ten ranges so from 18 to 24 25 to 36 you know something like that that's called binning and you can do this really easily in pandas who would have thought that something was easy like this to do in pandas and it's to using it's for using we use a method sorry called cut so we're going to cut the data um okay so we're going to look at rating counts so let's have a quick look um so we're we're Kind of looking through, we're like, okay, the smallest is probably zero, and the highest is probably, well, I've got down here, the highest is about a million, right? So, a million ratings. So, we want to bin the rating counts into groups. So, how we do this? We create an object called bins, or sorry, a list called bins, zero to one, hundred to thousand, thousand to hundred, th uh, sorry, ten thousand to hundred thousand, hundred thousand to a million. This may or not may, may or may not work out exactly correctly but just trying to communicate the general idea so bind data is a new object we're going to do equals pd dot cut we're going to cut it um i don't know why it's called cut so we're going to cut oh, i'll cut it into bits probably yeah quite obvious nick so we're going to cut play data dot rating count uh with the oh, with the list of bins boom that's it done and then we're going to look at bind data there we go. We now have uh, a potential new series of data that we can join to our, our existing data frame with bind data. Um, and we can use this when we're, you know, trying to understand populations of and how many exist in those populations. So not something that comes up all the time, but super handy when you do need it. So you don't need to go and do it all yourself. All right. If you liked this video, thumbs up. If you got any questions, stick it in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you want to support the community, subscribe. And if you really want to support the community, share it with your friends, tell everybody about it, keep liking. And I'll see you for video 18. Oh, only 12 videos left. See you next video.